What's up guys? Yakso here and um today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do um syncing on your episodes and stuff. Uh, about the intro in my last video, um I asked for you guys to do intros, introduction things in the comment. I didn't really get much I could use, so uh, I'm just going to keep my old one, you know, YOLO, who cares? <laughs> I'm joking about the YOLO thing, but by the way, um um, I don't really care if Baker's using it, whatever, it's just an introduction, all that matters is the tutorial, so, yeah, just deal with it, if you care about my intro, whatever. Alright, so anyways, I already have my, um, song in, and, um, I messed up the tutorial, like, a couple seconds ago, so, all I'm gonna do is, this is pretty much, I just moved, I just added the song, and I moved it down a little bit, so I can find the part. I'm assuming you guys already have your cinematics and stuff before here, like, just imagine here, you have your cinematics, introductions, whatever, you know, saying you're introducing the guy you're editing for, whatever. And, um, this is where, I'm guessing you guys wanna sync the first shot to the song, so, it's pretty easy, um, it's, I use the same method for, like, I teach all my friends the same method, like, my cousin, I taught him how to do this, and, um, he's been syncing really well, so, I um, hope this helps, so, anyways, what I'm gonna do first, and I'm gonna find that point where, um, the shot happens, like, the, ba the beat of the song or the bass starts, which, the part, like, the part where you want the thing to start, the shot. Okay, I found it. it's right here. So if you if you're zoomed out like um like like this and you can't see it's all like that. Um, just click the little button down here and zoom in, and you can um go really in and pretty much I found it right there. So what I'm gonna do now, once you find the beat like the beat that you want to add a shot to, what you what you do is you gotta click Shift One or Shift Nine. Make sure you go from one to nine. So there's nine different like things you can have markers at one time so this is thing number one so if I click shift 2 it's gonna say shift 2 see if I click shift 3 it's gonna be shift 4, 3, 5, 6, 7 and you go up to 9 so um there you go that's one so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um to sync it now all I do is I just put my import my clip right here um let's see it's a host migration shot I, li I really like host migrations with this song cause it's like a long introduction you can just add the thing wiggling and stuff you know cool stuff alright so pretty much what I do is I I mess around with where I'm gonna start the clip to where the shot is so what I do is I just go to where the shot is and I put my marker down right in the center and I just drag this clip left or right depending on how much it is so um, I'm gonna drag this more here so I know like I have space so I'm gonna just keep dragging it left until I see a muzzle flash on the screen as you can see, the, the timer is going down still, and I keep going, I keep going, and, um, okay, so it's going to be, as soon as I just keep going, and right there, I see a muzzle flash, wait, go a little more, right there, so, um, that's pretty good, now I just got to drag this here, and, um, as you can see, it perfectly starts, um, if your clip is not long enough to reach the end of, like, the beginning of this, I mean, what's it called? You know when the cinematic ends, that layer. If your if your first clip is not that long to reach that, um, I suppose you want to go right click on your layer, go to time, time stretch, and time stretch it to 150 and click OK. Or depending on how long you want it, um, 200, but don't go over 200 because it's gonna get laggy as hell. Um, also, if if it's if you put it to 200 and it's still less, you have to put another cinematic or intro, something that will just take up that space, so then you can put this after it. Um. I know it kind of sucks, but this is pretty much how you do it. Um, so now I have that clip synced. I don't know if it's gonna sync well because my computer gets laggy sometimes and it looks like it's not synced whatsoever on the Camtasia, but it actually is. Like if I were if I were to close my After Effects and stop recording and I would pre-render it again, it would be perfectly synced. So um, if it's not perfectly synced this time, I'm just gonna go along. But yours should be really synced. So yeah. And also, um, I'm gonna do like two more clips probably like this quickly so I can show you guys how to do it so you know. And okay, so yeah, see, as you can see, um, it's messed up, it's like it's really weird um i don't know what's happening but yeah as you can see if i hold it like this it'll go and it'll sync but my 
laptop is weird um so you should probably be good and I'll put the proof no actually I won't forget that okay so I'm just gonna go let's go twixter let's add twixter right here twixter if you want to know how to do this fast twixter like me just um go to my thing description i mean not my description go to my 10k pack and download the presets it only works for after effects cs6 i believe so you gotta have that to use it and all you gotta do is just drag it on at the part you want it see look as you can see it goes and it just gets twixter right here and then now it's really smooth twixter and it's my settings so yeah that's pretty cool and even if even if i wanted i could add like if i were to go to you and then i would find the marker right here i can add some scale to it where is it es scale and then there you go Oh, this looks pretty cool. And I can add some Twitch, you know. And I can add some Twitch right here. And then check this out. I hope this isn't laggy like it was. It's really weird, my computer, so. Oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty um as you can see it's pretty synced now because I just did that little part. Um next part, let's see how much time. Holy shit, six minutes for one. That's pretty bad. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is to find the next beat, you gotta just take this off and I wanna just pre-render it. Like click the click the little eye thing on all your layers of tech for the music layer so it just goes green right away. And now you can pre-render. I mean, yeah, you can pre-render and find out where the next part is. Okay, so, um, hold up. So it's right here, living on the dream. When it says living...